the surface area of an open top box can be found using the formula A equals 2LH plus 2WH plus LW, where L is the length of the box, H is the height of the box, and W is the width of the box. So looking at this box here, this formula only applies if the box does not have a top. Let's call this edge here the length. We'll call this edge here the width, and this edge here the height. Notice how in our formula we have two times L times H. That represents the area of the right side and left side of the box. Two times W times H would represent the area of the front and the back of the box. Notice how we have L times W, which would represent the area of the bottom of the box. And we only have one of these because there's no top. So for this problem, we're given that the length is equal to six centimeters. The width is equal to nine centimeters. And the height is equal to four centimeters. So what this formula is doing, it's finding the area of the five faces, and that total area would be the surface area of the open top box. So the surface area of our box, or A sub S, is going to be equal to two times L times H, where L is six centimeters. I'll leave out the units until the end. And H is four, plus two times W times H, where W is nine centimeters and H is four centimeters, plus L times W, where L is six centimeters, and W is nine centimeters. Now following the order of operations, we'll multiply first, so we'll find this product, this product, and this product, and then we'll find the sum. So two times six is 12, times four is 48, Two times nine is eighteen. Eighteen times four is equal to seventy-two. And six times nine is equal to fifty-four. And now we'll find this sum, which will be our total surface area. This is equal to one hundred seventy-four, which is measured in square units. And since our dimensions are in centimeters, this would be centimeters squared. This would be the surface area of our open top box. If we go back to this step just for a moment, since these two units are in centimeters, as well as these two and these two, centimeters times centimeters would result in centimeters squared, which is another reason why the units are square centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.